your royal highnesses, your excellencies, distinguished participants, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, I would like to express my gratitude to the Director General of ICD, Mr. Mark Donfried, and to the members of the Institute for Cultural Diplomacy for your kind invitation and thank you for your warm welcome. It is a great honor for me to be here with you today to celebrate the 25th anniversary of the fall of the Berlin Wall. Today I would like to say a few words about the Berlin Wall. On 8 May 1945, after World War II, Germany was divided into four zones. East Germany became a communist country under the control of the Soviet Union. At the same time, West Germany was a democratic country and allied with France, Britain, and the United States. But until 1961, East German citizens were allowed to travel to West Berlin without any difficulties. After 1948, the lifestyle in the West was much better than the East. Later, traveling to West Germany became difficult, and the open border between East and West Germany was closed by the East German government in 1952. After the border was closed, it became more difficult and dangerous to escape to the West. In the years between 1949 and 1961, thousands of people from East Germany fled to the democratic West. Most immigrants were young and well qualified. Yes. The country was losing its educated professionals, skilled workers, and intellectuals. They lost, threatened to destroy the economy viability of the East German state. They also had problems with the two currencies in Germany, and especially in Berlin. On Saturday 12th, August 1961, East German authorities signed an order to close the border, and they built a barrier to close off the people from East access to West Berlin. The Berlin Wall. In the early morning hours of Sunday, 13th August, 1961, East Berlin residents were awakened by the sounds of military vehicles, tractors, crane, and trucks. They built a wall around Berlin to prevent people from leaving. The original wall built of barbed wire fence and cinder blocks was later replaced by a series of concrete walls, including guard towers. There were 302 guard towers and 20 bunkers. The second wall was built in June 1962 in order to prevent people escaping to the West. The building of the Berlin Wall in August 1961 divided families and neighborhoods in what had been the capital of Germany. Before the wall was built, daily half a million people crossed the border from one part of the city into the other. Many people from East Berlin worked in western part of the city. They did their shopping, enjoyed cinema, and discourse. During its 28 years history, according to the official statistics, says that at least 136 people lost their lives trying to escape over the wall from East Berlin into West Berlin. We should not forget the victims and it is an important part of history to remember. It was a symbol of the Cold War until it fell in 1989. 
On 18th of October 1989, the head of state of Germany of that time had to resign. And the new government prepared a new law to lift the travel restrictions. On 9th November 1989, the East German authorities announced that all German Democratic Republic citizens could travel to West Germany and West Berlin. Later that evening, the border guards opened the crossing as the authorities decided to allow East German travel freely to West. I would like to mention that during my ancestors were ruling in Sri Lanka, there were three kingdoms, and the country was divided with boundaries. But there was one king from the south. He cleared the boundaries, and he united Sri Lanka. But unfortunately, we were affected with war for 30 years. And due to this war, many people had to leave the country, many people lost their loved ones. But after 30 years of war, in 2009, now we have got peace. But still, some people are trying to disturb the peace. I believe that communication is the best way to deal with conflicts. As long as you don't communicate, you cannot find a solution to resolve conflicts. Only communication will lead to a successful solution. And for an everlasting peace, we should all work together. I would like to share with you that my belief is that every human being on this planet has the right to live in peace. This is the most basic human right. But peace in the world among people communities and nations have been so difficult to establish. We must first realize what barriers and divisions keep us apart in order to achieve real peace, unity, and harmony. It is my sincere wish that people should come forward to build a harmonious world of lasting peace. Do not fear change. If you change your thoughts, you change your life. The fastest way to achieve peace is to change your thinking. Some may think peace is difficult. In order to achieve peace in the world, we have to work together. Therefore, I urge all people around the world to come forward and join hands for the happiness and by working together with common goal, we can make this planet a special place in which we all can live in peace and harmony. I wish all the people around the world peace, and may God bless you all. Thank you very much. Thank you.